for the I'll crown breaker. The a few things we need to do there. I'll just go to the journal and set the right mission. We're not going to see Phineas just yet. That's soon though. Uh, nope. We can return to Lilia and we're going to do something else while we're at the ground breaker too. All right. All the way over here. Destination reached. The groundbreaker. I can understand why they didn't, but I wish there was like a cinematic for the first time you arrive or when you tra space travel, basically, is what I'm trying to say. What was that? Seriously, what was that? Was that Sam or something? Anyway, I'm going to just uh, do some business, guys. I'm going to just sort through a few things. Did we level up as well, did we? Oh, yeah, of course. Um, we'll sort that out later after we eat and drink and all that. Let's uh, just do what I was planning on doing. Uh, still got 210 weapon parts. That's handy. So, uh, back to the weapons. We'll just uh, junk these. Junk, junk, junk. Um, and across to armor, junk, junk. We're going to be selling while we're here on the ground breaker anyway. Uh, and the usual with the consumables. We haven't, I've just sorted this recently. So, all right. And junk that. Just want to redo it while we're here. Uh, should be nothing to break down, but I'm going to repair all equipped items. Uh, I don't think we've got any tinkering. Have we? Oh yeah, we can tinker the dead eye. Uh, we should be able to tinker one level of each, but uh, just depending on how much. Oh yeah, not too bad. Once it gets like super, super pricey, we won't do any more, but we've still got a few bits. All right, and that'll do for now. Okay, while we're here, I do need to We'll have a quick sleep. And we'll eat and drink before we leave as well. I don't know why, I always do it right at the door. It's like my, um, it just sort of reminds me, basically. All right. I'll have one of those. Ooh, something small as well. Oh yeah, chocolate bar, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> I've used the yum 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 in an appropriate way for once. Uh, still a tiny bit thirsty. Hey, look, let's just have two sugary drinks. We're not watching our weight. There we go. All right, and out we go to the ground breaker. Doesn't matter who we bring with us. Okay, once we're... Uh, here at the ground breaker. We're gonna head and see, I think we saw him real early in this playthrough, guys. We saw Udom Bedford. Yeah, we definitely did see him. He's the guy we had to speak to to get our ship released. We're gonna go see him again. That's gonna be our first stop here. Uh, back right hand side, or sort of on the right towards the back here, in here. Go have a chat to him. Now, we are going to say that we uh, want to turn in Phineas, but don't worry, that's not the sort of playthrough we're actually going to follow through on. We're just going to uh, tell him that we're going to turn him in, but then we're going to tell Phineas about it later on uh, without spoiling too much. How do you do? Ah, oh, how might I assist you? Uh, I know where to find Phineas Wells, actually. What? Yeah, you heard me. Uh, Edgewater's constable told me to speak with you about Wells. I'll have to send oh, I didn't even see the light of my bad. An apprehension of this caliber would be tremendous for my career. I would send you straight away to my superiors in Byzantium, but... Uh, let me guess, there's a catch? Just a teensy one, the teensiest. Nothing to, uh, lie awake worry about. It actually will be teensy for us, because we're gonna <laughs> the thing steal is, our way. I needed money. A lot of money, quickly, for reasons. Uh, so far, so entirely expected. What happened? <laughs> I might have 
pawned my official board seal to Gladys, the black market fence here on the Groundbreaker. I can't authorize the paperwork you'll need to turn Phineas in without it. To give away something so important to you, there must have been some curious reasons. I'll thank you for right question my motives, young miss. It was a mistake, and I'd like to put it behind me. It's only temporary, of course. I'd never leave something so important in the hands of someone of such a dubious moral character. I was going to buy it back once I raised the capital. So you'll need to get my seal back from her if you want to hand Phineas over to the board. Hmm. You have to be kidding me. How stupid can you be, Bedford? Oh, it might surprise you. <laughs> I don't think it would, oh, actually. Gosh. That's quite a goof, sir. If you don't mind me saying. I'm very well aware. Now, let's get back to business. Hmm? Hmm. So, before I can do the board a favor and turn over Wells, I need to do you a favor first. That's the long and short of it, yes. Fine, I'll go talk to Gladys. Maybe I can work something out. We're not thank really going to talk to Gladys. Oh, thank you so much. I'm certain Gladys can be made. We're going to go well, see her, probably technically. Probably made to see reason. <laughs> I'll be waiting eagerly for your return. Now. Is there any way in which I might assist you? Mm, I'm pretty sure I'm about to do you the favor, buddy. All right, to Gladys. But, don't, but we're actually not talking to her. Is it Mr. <laughs> Wells, the fellow who woke you? How bad could he be? Makes sense out of that, guys. All right. I told you we'd see Gladys, but we're not going to talk to her. What we're going to do is we're gonna sit right about here somewhere. Now, I believe since I first tried this, they have done some sort of patch to try and stop us from doing this. Um, what we wanna do is actually steal everything out of here. Um, so first we're gonna to need to lock, um, lock pick it without being caught, and then we're gonna to need to steal everything without being caught. Or technically we can probably get caught once out of those two. So what we need to do I used to be able to just jump in this corner and it would light up and say um, lockpick from right here. Uh, here we go. There, we, there it is. Try that. Quick, straight away steal everything. What do you think you're doing? Here we go. We got caught once, but that's okay. We're just going to persuade our way out of it. No one saw anything, sort of. And that's how we get the seal back, guys. All right. Back to Mr. Bedford. Now, of course, you can talk to her and work something out with her. Uh, I have done it that way. I don't have notes in front of me about how that all plays out, but I think it does end up costing you money. So that's why we're doing it this way. All right, Bedford. How do you do? Oh. How might I assist you? Dude, we were literally talking 30 seconds ago. I got your seal from Gladys. Oh my law. You've done it. You've saved my hide. I can't thank you enough. Now then, uh, let me see. I just have to apply the seal here. Sign like so, and... Ta-da! <laughs> here are the forms you'll need once you reach Byzantium. Oh, and a nav key so your ship can travel there. Those authorization forms will let you speak with Sophia when you arrive. I'll send her a message straight away to let her know you're coming. She'll yeah, we liked it, I'm sure. We need to do that to get access to Sophia um, for a few other achievements that we're going to get later on, guys. Um, we can ask who is Sophia. Where have you been living, Captain? Under a rock? Miss Sophia's got to be the second most important person in the entire colony. Yes, quite. Oh, uh, Miss second is to me. Just the person to take someone with your particular talents and sterling character under her wing. She can fill you in on all of the board's operations in the colony, really put your talents to use. I'm sure she could. All right, let's go. Best of luck to you and thank you again. Give my regards to the unreliable. Yeah, sure, buddy. All right, uh, something else we need to do while we're here that is going to relate to an achievement much later on. And that is... Pretty crowded. Ike's, I'm going to say Ike, I think that's how you'd say it. Ike's Armory. Go and, uh, we need to buy some stuff while we're here. You look like someone who's taking their share of cuts and bruises. Need some armor? 
Maybe it's a bit secondhand, but that's only a testament to its durability. We also have a line of specialized melee weapons. For those times, you have to repel borders, but don't want to risk a bullet through the hull. Clever. Now, we need to grab a couple of things from him um, for the achievement Well Dressed. Uh, again, won't say too much about it, other than this is one place to guarantee that you can get these two items that we're about to wear. Uh, sorry, about to buy, not wear. We will be wearing them later. All right. Now, the particular quest that we're going to do for the well-dressed achievement, uh, at some point, we are going to need to wear spacer clothing. And that means spacer armor or clothing and a spacer helmet. And now, it does not... It's very confusing because it does not mean spacer's choice, which is something we had to wear for a uh, different achievement earlier. It is spacer clothing. And you need to look in the description as you can see there, in the description there, it says lightweight spaces gear. This is what we need for the well-dressed uh, achievement sort of quest line. All right, so grab that, one of those. Uh, there's a few of them. Pardon me, it doesn't matter which one you grab, as long as it says spacer. So grab the clothing and the helmet looks a bit different to the last one, but there we go. There's a lightweight spacers helmet. Yours may look different. In my practice runs, it was always a different helmet. I got confused for a second there. Might be one of these up here, but either way, I do know this one will work, so we'll grab that. So we're just gonna buy those two things, uh, and that is it for here. Let's move on. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Sell our junk to him while we're here. Itching to whack someone over the head? We can help with that. I'm sure you could. Uh, sell all junk. How'd that go? About 5,000 worth. Awesome. All right, and now we're going to go see Lilia for... Hang on, I'll just go to the journal. That's one of the quests we just picked up. Uh, for the Space Crime Continuum questline. And again, there's an achievement for doing all of Lilia's quests. So we are working our way through those. She's going to give us another quest. Let's return this one in. That gas is going to make us a fucking mint. 120 some cubic meters of it at a million bits a pop. Take this. You've earned it. That's the Vitae we gas we got lined up, from Cascadia. A gold toilet to shit in. Well, I hope she paid us a lot then. Yeah, we don't have 100 Persuade yet, but yeah, it's not going to matter, guys. The height of ambition for us all. A gold toilet. You're goddamn right. I was being sarcastic, Monarch lady. isn't exactly a walk down the lanes of Byzantium. But here you are with all your limbs attached. Call me impressed, contractor. Uh, in case you were curious, no one was following me. No one you saw, anyway. Glad to see you're looking out for yourself. You've been keeping busy. I hear you took on some extra work at Fallbrook. Catherine says the factory needs some repairs before it's back to working order. But at least it's under our control. Hey, when you were at the slaughterhouse, those swine didn't give you any... strange looks, did they? She's a bit cuckoo. Yeah, I could have sworn one of them winked at me. I knew it. I'm probably getting worked up over nothing. Just try not to think about pigs. You never know, you know? Right, sure. Whatever you say. Attaboy. I yeah. have another job lined up. Of course so you do. Still interested in work? They're gonna salvage me a space station. Heliospheric Research Station 1084, to be exact. I want it. Cobwebs and all. Interested? How big we talking? Not like Groundbreaker big, right? This opportunity won't come around again, Captain. Yeah, just point me in the right direction. Here, this override bypass should get you into the station systems where you can plant my flag. And one last thing. When you get there, make sure you aren't followed. We wouldn't want that. 
Uh, um, wink and nod, I guess. Glad we understand each other. I'm on the heels of something big. Play your cards right and I'll clue you in. But right now, I'm not sure who I can trust. I'm not sure you know much. Someone might try and use you to get to me. She is definitely losing her marbles, guys. Alright, we're out of here. In fact, I didn't need to use the uh, lift just then. We can fast travel back to our ship now. Let's do that. Okay, Captain, and... Felix and the Vicar are arguing again. You'd think I'd be used to her cutting me off as soon as we enter the ship, eh? Gets me every time still, guys. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to travel to Byzantium and actually see uh, Sophia for the first time. Let's do that, and we can uh, land at... There is another landing pad at Byzantium, but this is the one we just got access to. There's another way to get there, but we're going to just use this one for now. We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. Okay, and while we're here, let's just link up the correct. So that's the puppet masters is sort of what we're working on right now. Uh, we are going to do a couple of steps in the well-dressed uh, quest line. So we just bought two items of clothing that we're going to need. And earlier in the walkthrough, I had us store some clothing in here. And it is a Marauder Helmet and Marauder Armor. And also some Iconoclast Armor and an Iconoclast Helmet, guys. You're going to need those six items. Uh, now, if you didn't do that earlier, or you forgot, or you don't know where you put them, or something uh, along those lines, you can buy the Iconoclast, or you could, well, you could get both just from um, killing enemies uh, on Monarch. Or you can buy the Iconoclast um, armor and helmet from Amber Heights. And the Marauder stuff, guys, they're, they're the enemies that you come across everywhere on Monarch and around Edgewater, sort of everywhere. So it should be pretty fine. We have to talk to uh, Ali. Since we're in Byzantium, there's something I've been meaning to do. And what's that? I haven't actually talked to my folks in a while. Shocking, right? No, I'm not Anyway, shocked. it's probably about time I paid them a visit. Given the dangerous life I lead, they've got to be worried sick. Mm, are they? Of course, just let me know how I can help. Whoa, let's calm down. I'm not asking for a favor or anything. No, oh, of course not. I'm just suggesting we stop by. When we're in the neighborhood. See, I'm originally from Byzantium, born and raised. I know that probably comes as a big surprise. And now you just want to catch up with them? Yeah, exactly. Okay. I don't see why you can't go see them when it's convenient. Oh, well, I was thinking you'd come too. Oh, okay, we'll go. Great. And when we get there, draw out your rough edges a bit. If you've got an outfit you haven't washed in a while, maybe one with some blood stains, wear that one. I'll take care of dressing myself, thanks. You're the boss. That's Anything right. Else? Nope, that's it. Let's go. Alright. Uh, we've got hunger withdrawals and we're a tiny bit thirsty. Let's sort that out. Sure, I'll have an apple. And another drink. One of these. Alright, out of here. Take someone to watch your back, please. And the two that we want to take with us are actually not Neoka. So we want Ali and Pav. Alright, let's go. Okay, and the first stop is Sophia. So we're going in through here. First time you go through here, you're going to be stopped by this Not guard so here. Fast. Yes? What is it? All right, you're clear. Of course I am. Thank you. 
and up the elevator. How we doing, girls? Yeah, you too. Very talkative today. Thank you. All right. Go and see the, uh, I guess, receptionist. I see you haven't been shot to pieces by Percival. Do you have an appointment? Uh, no, but I have papers. Of course. You're that curious spacer Mr. Bedford mentioned. Just a moment, please. Madam Adjutant, Bedford's contact has arrived. Shall I clear your schedule? No, thank you, Percival. I doubt this will take long. I'm Sophia Akande, adjutant to the chairman. Mm hmm. Uh, how many more hoops do I have to jump through before you give me my reward? For your alleged information on the whereabouts of Phineas Wells? We'll get to that in a moment. I've been reading all about you. This dossier from Emerald Vale was especially engrossing. Okay, uh, this should be good, go on. I've been keeping up with you ever since Emerald Vale. Now that was an interesting piece of work. A rundown backwater, barely worth the ink on a map. Until you showed up. You walked through Edgewater and in your wake transformed it from a loyal company town to a haven for dissidents. I'm actually a little impressed. Anyone with eyes can see that you're talented. But you're also unpredictable. I don't like unpredictable. Um, I'm not afraid of the board. That's what you don't like. Yeah, I'm going to give it. I happen one. to like men with a working spine. I just haven't decided if I'm willing to trust you yet. I have a job for you. One of our cartographers needs to be retired. Hmm. I want you to carry it out. And this is one of the quests we wanted to get because there's an achievement linked to this one. Uh, I'm listening. Rachel Lockwood, cartographer for the Bureau of Exploration. She's done some sensitive work for us, but now she's a loose end. Lockwood has to go. Get rid of her. Bring me her work. Then we'll talk about Dr. Wells. Now, it doesn't matter how you complete this quest. As long as you complete it and hand it back in, you'll get the achievement. Once again, I, in case I forget to say it later, you won't see it pop on screen for me once we complete that quest. Uh, but that is exactly how you do it. I think it's called the Cartographer or something like that. Uh, consider it done. We're going to kill somebody without even knowing what they did uh, wrong. Quiet. If anything? No. Keep your associates in line, Captain. I expect them to follow your orders as you follow mine. At the very least, I expect you to do better than the other freelancer. Report back to me when you're finished. What other freelancer? We've hired outside contractors before. There's another freelancer working this job, but he's been dragging his heels. Dependable and competent freelancers are hard to come by. For your own sake, I hope you prove to be the exception and not the rule. Oh, you'll see. All right, let's go. Excellent. Percival will handle your paperwork for you. Oh, level up again. I still didn't spend the skill points from earlier, did I? Uh, let's just look at that right now before I forget. I don't bother spending them because we don't really need them until much, much later, but may as well spend them just to get them out of our way um we are going to be doing let me think um we are going to be just short now that i think of it we have got 50 more points so 70 total we need well, actually, we don't need as many as I'm thinking, do we? All right, because we've got other members. So for now, I'm going to put Persuade up to 100 in the brackets, not our actual score. Okay, put that up to there. Apply that just for now. And then we're going to go to 
lock pick and do the same. So seven into that. All right. Accept that. And then hack will just spend the remaining five points. All right, lock that in. And go across to perks. Okay, and the perk that we're going to grab uh, is this this one here. It's going to uh, potentially be handy um, as a last resort uh, later on because we are going to want to have Path with us in the late game so that we can uh, have those bonuses to our uh, speech, I think it was, um, and uh, possibly to our lockpicking as well. Uh, and that is to revive companions if they uh, die. So let's grab that. All right, and we've got perks for Ali and Pav while we're here. And the main one I want is this one. So now they're gonna basically get two chances. If they die, they're gonna automatically get 25% of their health back with a 15 minute cooldown. And then if they die again, we're going to be able to revive them ourselves as well. I've never tested if you can um, stack them like that, but I assume that we will be able to. Luckily, I haven't had the need to yet. Post a comment if you know the answer though. All right, same thing for both companions. All right, moving across to our journal. We're actually gonna go and see Ali's parents. Uh, so we're gonna activate the Low Crusade companion quest. And I don't think we need to speak to Percival. Apologies for the wait. No, 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 see you bud. All right, and that's the elevator we came out of, but we're gonna go down this one and into Byzantium. It needs elevator music, this elevator. Because they're not gonna, they're not much company, these two. They're just staring at me. Yeah. All right, and out here. See ya. Yeah. And out to Byzantium. Okay, I need to remember. Where is this? That way. Ellie's parents' house first. Should be just down here. Yep. Sure, it looked fancy, but inside, there's my parents' place. Smell that. In we go. Industrial. Okay, and we just head into this room here. Marilyn, is that you? Mars, we certainly didn't expect to see you like this. And I didn't expect you to renew your marriage contract. But we're all full of surprises today, aren't we? Speaking of surprises, you should meet my new friend. We've been running around the system for a while now, stirring up all sorts of trouble. Yeah, I, don't, I just can't really play along too much with this. Um, hello. Play the ruffian angle some more. You're supposed to help me make an impression. Anyway, you're probably wondering where I've been all this time. Not <clears throat> exactly. The last few years have been a bloody haze. You wouldn't believe the messes we've gotten ourselves into. Right? Um... Um, yeah, what Ali said. Come on, try to get into it a little more. Yeah, I'm not feeling it, Ali. Marilyn, this really isn't the best time. Uh, perhaps you should go. These douchebags. Yeah. Yeah, don't treat her like that. She's come a long way to see you. I mean, we had other business in Byzantium, so it's not like we went out of our way. That's true. You can't just kick us out. We'll stay as long as we like. And while we're at it, we'll drink your expensive hooch, wear our outside shoes all over your nice floors. She's like a spoiled kid. Uh, hold up. These floors aren't just nice. They're top quality marble. He's right. Since when can you afford authentic Terran marble? 
That's what we've been trying to tell you, dear, but you must understand, we hadn't heard from you in ages. We thought you were dead. I don't seem too disappointed about it either. I'm not dead. I just never wanted to talk to you again. I'm afraid the distinction was lost on us, darling. Why do I get the feeling you people are about to apologize for something? We only did what any grieving parents in our position would do. We collected on your life insurance policy. And the payouts have been rather uh, substantial. You what? Mm. Yeah, I'm sure you're much happier now knowing Ellie's alive and well, right? Of course. And we shall always harbor that joyful secret deep within our hearts. And you'll report it to the insurance company, right? It's not that simple. For one thing, we'd have to cut back on so many necessities. The neighbors would be sure to notice. Oh no. Yeah. Let's go, Ali. We've got better things to do than hang around these two. Damn right, Captain. Damn right. Fine. I'm gone. Forever this time. Mm. Let's go. We're gonna go out of here first.